Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option the 2019 Cadillac ATS Premium Performance Coupe. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you're in the market for a new car, I wrote a killer article on my website about how to buy a new car for the lowest price. I put the link in the description below. Eye-catching design, crisp handling, and cutting-edge tech features make the 2019 Cadillac ATS a standout among today's crop of small luxury coupes. Tight cabin space and a small trunk limit its daily practicality, but overall, the ATS is one of today's most distinctive luxury coupes. Well, right off the bat, I like the numbers on this new 2019 ATS. 300, it says available 3.6 liter V6, 335 horsepower. It gets 29 miles to the gallon on the highway, and it'll do 0 to 60 in 5.3 seconds. I'm really excited to do this car. I really love Cadillac products a lot, a lot, a lot. As a matter of fact, I just did an update video of the 2019 Cadillac CT6V and its new Blackhawk twin turbo uh, engine. So I'm going to go ahead and put a link up. And if you're interested in that, you can go check that out too if you like Cadillacs like I do. Okay, moving on. Uh, real quick, look at the interior. I think the seats look great. Um, the uh, contrasting stitching looks nice, even though we're not really talking about the interior features yet. We just got started. What do they say here? Take the wheel and experience pure exhilaration with speed, style, and handling built for dynamic drivers. We will see. Built for dynamic drivers. Let's see what this thing is made of. Okay, so right up front, and this would explain what they said at the beginning. It said available 3.6 liter V6. So the standard engine is, um, let's see, among the most powerful four-cylinder turbo engines. So the feeling at 272 horsepower, and that's going to probably still feel pretty good. 272 horsepower, four-cylinder engine, probably a two-liter, uh, maybe somewhere making around somewhere 295 pound-feet of torque. We'll find out. We'll check those specs in a little bit. Uh, but it says the feeling of 272 horsepower. This coupe looks very good. Here's another thing, agility to conquer curves. One of the lightest vehicles in the segment. We'll check that out when we get to the specifications as well. We'll see what the curb weight is on this vehicle. The ATS is a perfect balance of power, control, and precision. It's got available magnetic ride control suspension. That's the big deal suspension uh, for Cadillac that can read the road, you know, thousands upon thousands of times in milliseconds type of stuff and make and make adjustments on the fly and so all their big cars have that technology and so it's a really big deal so magnetic ride control that's a good option we'll see what ours is going to start off at what we're going to option ours up to i want to make this cadillac ats v or ats not a v coupe as nice as it can be we're going to see what all there can be Here's a nice shot of the interior again. This says down here, ATS Premium Performance Trim Shown. Uh, it's a nice black interior. There's a couple of photos we just want to take a look at. Well, this was an interior shot, and then they're going to show us an exterior shot. Let me take a look at that real quick. And now we can actually choose, uh, go through the color palette for the 2019 Cadillac ATS. We can look at the exterior color. So the color they're showing us right now is Radiant Silver. And then there's the Black Raven. There's Crystal White. I really like the Crystal White Tricoat on the Cadillac because it's white but with a lot of metallic sparkly flake in it so when the sun hits it it really twinkles the other brand that I like that does that is Mercedes has a a white that does kind of the same thing but Cadillac does it to a really nice degree so don't be surprised if we end up going with crystal white tricoat okay when we get to the building price on this oh and speaking of building price a couple of things before I go forward one if you like the way I build and price out this ATS then you can download the build summary in the description below. Number one. Number two. I like this car so much that I decided that I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a complete write up and review on this car on my website. So I'm going to put the link to that review in the description below as well. Okay. So what other colors are there? There's the dark uh, Adriatic blue. There is the stellar black, which has it's not as nice as the black Raven. And then you have red obsession. I might do red. And then you have this satin steel, all right? So those are the exterior colors for the 2019 Cadillac ATS Coupe. The 2019 Cadillac ATS Coupe is a four-passenger compact luxury coupe offered in four trim levels. Base, also known as standard, luxury, 
premium luxury and premium performance. The base comes reasonably well equipped and the luxury and the premium luxury add progressively more luxury and safety oriented features. The premium performance trim, which we're going to build in price on this review today, with its sport tuned suspension and tires, among other features, is best suited to enthusiast drivers, and that would be me. And that might be you. All right, so we can see that the base model, which they now call standard, uh, comes with that 2 liter, 272 horsepower engine. We'll just go over the configurations. While we are going to do a build in price on our premium performance, we could take a second right now to look at the other three configurations. Uh, it gets Brembo brakes. Cadillac must just have a deal with Brembo because almost every every Cadillac product I know has Brembo brakes on it. Uh, Cadillac user experience, that's the Q uh, infotainment system, and the 18-inch painted alloys. But they didn't say Q with navigation because you got to bump up to the luxury to get the Q with navigation, right? you got the cold weather package, so that should be what? Heated seats and a heated steering wheel type of deal. 10-way uh, adjustable front seats. Now you got leather seats, though. So the luxury package gets you in the leather seats. So this must be some kind of faux leather with the base model, right? And then you get some 18-inch wheels. Moving up to the premium luxury, you got all this stuff, of course. But now you get a better engine. You get Well, not a better, but you get a bigger engine, right? You get a bigger engine or at least the option to get a bigger engine, perhaps. You got the, high, you got the uh, LED high IntelliBeam headlamps with the LEDs. You got 18-inch polished wheels, so a different set of wheels. You got aluminum sport pedals. You got a driver awareness package. We'll learn about that when we check out the features. Sunroof and an advanced security package, which we'll probably learn about as well. Now, the premium performance, and I like this one because I want the sport. I like the sport, but if you know me, then you know I love heads-up display. I love heads-up display. Now we're into heads-up display. It's not the only reason we're doing the premium performance. I want the best. I want the magnetic ride. I want the better leather. I want the heads-up display. It's got a different set of 18-inch wheels. It's got a limited slip differential. It's sporty. I like the sporty ones. And so, that yeah, that's the deal with that. Let's move on. Let's check the features on the 2019 Cadillac ATS and see what there is. Okay, so their first tab here is performance. So let me just move this up a little bit. There we go. So the first tab is performance. And under that tab, they say thrilling engines, two potent powertrains. Yeah, you got that standard. I, I called it. I Honest to goodness. Honest to goodness. I said it had 295 pound-feet of torque, the 2-liter. And sure enough, it's got 295 pound-feet of torque. I just know these engines. I don't look. A lot of times when I do these reviews, honestly, I don't look ahead. I do not look ahead on these. I just kind of... I don't, I don't look ahead. So, 2-liter turbo, 272 horse, 295 pound-feet of torque. That's a nice engine, honestly. And we're going to check the specs. I bet you it makes that torque pretty low. And then you've got the available 3.6-liter uh, V6. In all honesty, I might want to roll with the 2-liter. I might want to roll with the 2-liter. I just like turbocharged engines. That's just me. Um, I cut my teeth on 2-liter engines on little Saab SPGs. I'm going to put a link up. But these cars did not have near the power right that these new two liters make this this car made just 200 horsepower and maybe about that much torque so yeah let's uh check out the intelligent power okay so here they're talking about the eight speed and uh man uh, eight speed transmission eight speed automatic transmission with available magnesium paddle shifters those are right here behind the steering wheel you can see them right there right delivers incredibly fast and refined gear changes so if you want to do like a little manual mode deal like your like your stick shift driving then that's what the paddle shifters are for. All right, what's this? Ultimate driver confidence. The ATS is a true driver's car with sudden stopping power, confident control, and responsive handling at the limit. Brembo performance front brakes, available limited slip rear differential, and a five-link rear independent suspension. Apparently, a five-link rear independent suspension is usually the setup on some of the best handling cars in the world. So, yeah, the five-link rear end is usually a good place to start then. Over here on the left, they're talking about this magnetic ride control. Here we go. Balance control. Available magnetic ride control. Reads the road. Here it is. Up to uh, 1,000 times per second and automatically adjusts to road surfaces and driving styles. And then lightweight architecture. With the architecture constructed of advanced uh, metals and free from unnecessary weight. And free from unnecessary weight, the ATS is among the lightest in its segment. Like I said, when we get to specs, we'll see what the curb weight is. Okay, next up for features is technology. So here they're talking about that infotainment. This is that Q uh, user experience. This is the Cadillac's infotainment system. This is their name up for it. 
connects you with the world, right? What can you do? Connected apps, maps, weather, music, uh, customized for one on one one of a kind driver profiles, and you can receive updates with the latest available software. There's also Apple CarPlay. Apple CarPlay is Apple CarPlay. It's a proprietary system. It's the same in all brands, but it's cool that um, Apple CarPlay is available. And it doesn't sound like it's like a subscription service like BMW is doing. With a BMW, they'll give you Apple CarPlay for one year, and then you got to pay a subscription for it. Does, they don't say anything about subscription on this, so seems like you're going to just get it out right, and I like that. Let's see, what's this? Reconfigurable displays. The reconfigurable full-color driver information center and available full-color head-up display. Place information about your phone, the audio, navigation, or vehicle settings in clear view. And then there's the Bose Premium Audio. It says immersive sound from every seat. The standard, standard Bose Centerpoint Audio System features 12 speakers for a rich listening experience. And the cabin's not that big, mind you. So 12 speakers, it's got to sound very rich in there, the sound does. Okay, now we've got a, a built-in Wi-Fi hotspot, available Cadillac, Cadillac 4G LTE, built-in Wi-Fi, lets you connect. You can connect seven devices from, up to 50, from as far as 50 feet away, right, while the vehicle is on or in the accessories position if the keys turn to ACC. Includes a data trial for three months or three gigabytes, whichever comes first. I usually am not a fan of the Wi-Fi stuff because a lot of phones you can just you have a hotspot with your cell phones, and so it kind of defeats the whole purpose of having an in-car Wi-Fi. But I guess sometimes that'd be fine. But yeah, know that you have a way around that because your cell phone probably has a hotspot. Then there's the remote start. I'm new on the remote start thing, meaning that I love that now. Before I could usually care less about it back in the day, but now I love the remote start feature. Right, it says the available My Cadillac mobile app and the paid OnStar plan allows you to remote start your Cadillac from virtually anywhere you have cell service right from your phone. So, yeah, you can hit the key, but you can also just start the car from your phone. And I like that. That's really, really nice. I can see I'm at the gym. I'm about to leave. Boom. Start the car. The Cadillac's ready for me when I leave the gym. I like that. Next up for features is the interior. It says, enter the ATS and refinement surrounds you. A story of modern craftsmanship expressed in available semi-aniline leather complemented by a curation of exotic wood and carbon fiber. You know I'm going with the carbon fiber. I'm going to try to make this ATS as sporty as it can possibly be. I mean, it's going to be the sportiest as it can possibly be, save getting a manual transmission if that's an option. I don't want a manual transmission. Okay, so tell us about the performance seating, Cadillac. It says, cut and crafted to form. Available performance front seats offer 14-way adjustability and additional bolstering so you're not sliding around when you're speeding, right? It says spirited driving. Um, and then it says, no detail too small. Uh, available sport alloy pedals offer a stylish hint at the high performance within. Like that. And then space made smart. I actually even like the color of, these, of the interior here. So the ATS offers more space when you need it with 60-40 split folding rear seats. We're going to find out a little bit about the exterior, immediate presence. Its arrival is announced with a low athletic stance and iconic grill. Its departure is punctuated by dual exhaust and vertical tail lamps. Once gone, the impression remains. They are really nice. I saw one on the highway. It was an ATS V Coupe uh, one day, probably last year, and it did look really hot. Okay, so... Innovative lighting. Available HID headlamps with available adaptive forward lighting swivel as you turn, helping to illuminate quarters as you take them. Vertical LED lighting, that's right here, um, signatures ensure your presence is unmistakable day or night. And then what about these performance tires? Uh, available 18-inch forward forged aluminum wheels deliver striking looks backed by strength and light weight while run-flat, summer-only, low-profile tires offer enhanced performance and confidence. Let's see. Advanced aerodynamics. The active aero grille shutters, underbody aero shield, and integrated LED center brake lamp that doubles as a spoiler help the ATS elude the air for enhanced efficiency and control. Mmm, what's that? Dual exhaust. Punctuate your departure. With performance dual exhaust, a subtle hint at the ATS performance capabilities. 
Here's the thing I really love about these Cadillacs. The illuminated door handles. I just love this. Beauty meet function. Available illuminated door handles light up when the doors are unlocked, providing a welcome glow at night. And then I like this new deal here, capless fueling. The capless fueling system functions without a gas cap, making fueling simpler and more convenient. Next up, safety. Let's talk about adaptive cruise control. Adaptive cruise control uh, maintains a selected following gap between you and the detected vehicle ahead. Lane keep assist with lane departure warning uh, helps you stay in your driving lane. Lane change alert with side blind zone alert. Alerts warn you of moving vehicles that are in your side blind zones or rapidly approaching them. So if somebody's like just crushing up on you real fast, it's, it's paying attention to that too, which is cool. So available for collision alert. Now what this does is monitor traffic ahead, alerting you if a potential collision is imminent. While the available following distance indicator shows the following time to the detected vehicle ahead in seconds. Yeah, because people are just following people too close, boy. People are just right up on your bumper these days, aren't they? I think so. What is this? Automatic seatbelt tightening? Uh, during emergency braking or sudden maneuvers, available automatic seatbelt tightening activates. When conditions revert to normal, the belt eases automatically. Then we have rain sensing wipers. Available rain sensing wipers automatically engage when rain is detected, adjusting their speed to the rain's uh, intensity. Here's a quick story on that. Had a BMW 550i that had um, rain sensing wipers. Got a crack in the windshield. Had some company come out, replace the windshield. Those uh, rain sensing wipers never worked again. Probably should have taken it to the dealer to get the windshield replaced. So if you have those windshield wipers that are rain sensing, you might want to be careful about that if you ever need to replace a windshield. Just an FYI. Okay, we went through all the features. All right, now we're over here at the gallery because uh, and it looks good. What do they call this Kona? Because this brown used to be called the Kona on the Cadillac ATS. I don't know, or cinnamon or something like that. I bet you it's got some color like cinnamon or Kona, but it looks really good. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I bet you we can click. No, we can't click for bigger photos. That's fine. I'll scroll. Scrolling works. Scrolling's nice, actually. Now, see, now this is the layout in like your base model Cadillac, where it's just analog gauges on, you know, across the thing here, and then you've got your, you know, you can still have your little digital speedometer, but you don't have heads up. But once you get up to like the two top two trims, now you'll have that whole LCD screen, I believe, where it changes that. Or do they not have? No, maybe they keep the whole thing. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe they don't offer that. I retract all that. They used to offer like this whole. LCD screen when you went to the upper level models. Maybe they're not doing that now because they're not showing a different one. So maybe not. All right, let's check out these exterior photos anyway. Cadillac just looks good. Cadillac's a nice looking car. All of them. All the Cadillacs. I've done quite a few Cadillacs. Matter of fact, let me put a link up to my Cadillac playlist right now. Here we can take a, a, a more detailed look at the ATS trims and more specifically our premium performance trim. So we can see that the ATS premium performance has an MSRP of $50,895. They say price is shown is $52,000 and change, maybe because they have some kind of option on there. But let's see what else they say on this page that's specific about the premium performance trim. All right, so here are some details. Performance, limited slip rear differential. It's got the magnetic ride control with driver selectable mode. It's got 18-inch ultra-bright machine finished painted wheels, and it's got full-color head-up display. Here are some available features, available options we can put on the car. So we can put a track performance package on this car. Includes high-performance brake lining and high-output engine cooling fan. Uh, we can upgrade the interior uh, seats, the leather. Uh, we can change, get an upgrade on the wheels. And let's see, there's a driver assistance package, which includes a whole bunch of tech. And, oh, that's where the full-color head-up display uh, lives. Oh, full-color heads-up display. The other one was just a heads-up display. All right, so you got a lot of tech and then a full-color head-up display and then a pow power tilt and telescoping steering column. You would think that wouldn't be a big deal, but it sure does make a car seem more upscale when you've got a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel versus that little flip-down leather and it feels all rickety, right? It does make a difference. Okay, so I had to dig around in the specs because all I really wanted to check on the specs was hopefully they were going to give me RPMs of when it made its torque 
and when it made its horsepower. But I forgot that it's usually like other manufacturers. You can find that information on BMW, Mercedes, Audi. Sometimes it's hard to find them on someone like the American manufacturers don't always give out that information real easy. So we won't be able to find out what the torque is. That's really kind of what I want to know on the specs. Now, we did want to check out some curb weight and stuff like that. I did remember that. So let's go take a look at that real fast. Okay, curb weight's about 3,500 pounds, right? This one, this one here in the center column is our premium luxury. Oh, with all-wheel drive. They haven't even mentioned that you could get this car in all-wheel drive. They haven't mentioned all-wheel drive in any of the other stuff, all their features. We're going to definitely get it in all-wheel drive. That changes the ball game. That makes the car even more uh, appealing to me. I really, I really like uh, all-wheel drive. So, yeah. So 3,500 pounds. I wanted to really know what the what the curb weight was because they made they mentioned it like two or three times about how light the car was. So I wanted to check it out. So 3,500 pounds. All right, let's go over to the build and price, and let's build price and option this Cadillac ATS. Okay, so here we are on the page where we now pick our trim level. By default, of course, it gives us the standard. But we're going to scroll down here and we're going to select the premium performance. Now, it's going to say the premium performance trim is not available with the current selections, right? We want all-wheel drive, okay? And then premium, uh, let's see. Oh, that's premium luxury all-wheel drive. Gotcha. Hang on a second. Okay, my mistake. You can only get the premium performance. You might have already caught that. You can only get the premium performance in rear-wheel drive, which is fine. I was just excited because I was hopeful. I was hopeful for all-wheel drive. When I clicked the all-wheel drive tab, I just saw the word premium. I didn't I didn't see that it just dropped off the word performance. So there we go. So premium performance only comes in rear-wheel drive, that 3.6 liter V6 engine. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. Let's select that and move on. So we've got that. That puts us at fifty, just under $52,000. Is there anything else on this page that we need? Nope. Let's move on to colors. All right. Now, I told you that I really like that crystal white tricoat. And I think we're just going to go with that crystal white tricoat uh, and leave the color thing. What's next? Now we've got, yeah, they call it Kona Brown. Well, so let's take an interior shot. So this is the jet black with jet black accents. This is a no-cost option. You can get this light platinum, which I'm not a fan of this light platinum interior. I don't really like that at all. There's a better shot of that. Now let's go back and take a look at that black. There we go. And then there's the Kona Brown with jet black accents. All right, and then there's the Murillo Red, right, which is not bad, but not for our car. Well, mm, I don't know how that's – I like the Kona. I think we're going to go with the Kona Brown with jet black accents, semi-aniline leather seat trim. It's a, basically a $1,300 upgrade, and we've got that nice diamond white tri-coat. And let's select our packages. We know there's only one. I think it's the driver assistance package. Oh, no, whoa, 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 there's a few other packages. <clears throat> so, yeah, there's a driver assistance package, and this is going to give us what? This gives us adaptive cruise control, forward and reverse automatic braking, automatic seatbelt tightening, forward automatic braking, head-up display, uh, power tilt and telescoping steering column, electronic parking brake, and, yeah, we're going to take that. And what else is there? There's the V-Sport performance suspension upgrade. What does this give us? Oh, Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. This is going to lower the car. All that there. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I like this car. I might have to change the colors now. Let me see. And now there's a track performance package. Now, what's this all about? Performance brake linings and heavy-duty 600-watt six, engine cooling fan. Yeah, I want it. Let's do that. And then you have the summer-winter package that includes your all-weather floor mats, for the winter, and then your carpeted premium mats in the summer. I love that. They finally bundled that all together. I like that. Yep, we'll take that. And then what is this? This is the all-weather mat protection package. Premium all-weather floor mats. And Oh, what do we get? Hang on one second. Oh, we got the summer-winter package. Okay, so we can skip over that other one. And then there's what's the battery protection package? What is that all? Oh, battery tender? No, I'll be driving mine. We won't need to keep it charged. It won't be running out of juice. All right, let's move on to exterior. All right, let's check that out. All right, so I'm going to jump right to the 19-inch wheels because I like I like, I like like the big wheels. Let's get to a, a side shot that's going to give us a better shot. And there it is. All right, let's do this 19-inch wheel. It's a $2,000 option. And let's see what it looks like. Hopefully, it looks good. If it doesn't, we'll see. Eh, I don't really like that, honestly. 
I don't really like that. What about these? What do these look like? Let's give these a shot. Uh, those look okay. Maybe the 18-inch polished, right? Those look okay. I think those look all right. But then at the same time, the stock ones, you know what? I think the stock ones look the best, to be honest with you. Normally, I always go with the wheel upgrade. This is a rare time that I'm not. I think those tires are better. Um, do I want the red brake calipers and the slotted rotor and the brake upgrade package? Yes, I do. Do I want a performance exhaust? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do I want the V-sill plates? Yep. Do I want this awesome spoiler? Yes, I do. Do I want, what is this? Make a bold statement by choosing to have your dealer install this distinctive trim. Oh, right here. This little piece of, yeah, I want that. I'm going to buy into the whole thing. Black chrome grill? Yeah, I'll take it. Um, I'm sure I'm going to get a license plate from the dealer. I'm not going to worry about that. Now, now that I made this thing extra sporty, I'm just wondering if I want to change that interior color. Maybe I want this thing to be black on the leather now. Maybe I don't want red because I don't know how it's going to wear. But maybe I want black for the interior. Let's go do that. So just jumping back here, let's just go choose that jet black. I think it's just going to look nice. I think it's just going to look nice. This nice, coupy car. You jump in. The black looks just all racy and less luxury. I mean, the, the cone is good, but it's just very more luxury. It's more luxury. And I think now, I think now that this, now that I know it's got all this V stuff on it, I think I want Black Raven for my exterior color. This thing's just going to be black on black, just looking menacing. Just looking menacing. So let's move on. We got we were over here at interior. So we got to jump all the way over here to interior. All right. So they're showing us all this stuff that we already have. All right. Um, oh, you can get these premium carpeted floor mats that have the V logo in there. Those are kind of fun. I'm going to keep those other mats too. I know I got them. I'll get all these as well. Oh, they're going to remove all those. Well, I don't want I don't want to do that. Then I'll just go to the dealer and buy these too because I'll want all of them. Do I want this microfiber steering wheel? You know I do. You know I do. I'm all, Oh, and the shift knob becomes uh, suede too. I like that. Uh, what's the cabin filter? Higher performance cabin filter is an improved performance over a standard production cabin filter designed to help it remove airborne particles as well as odor from the air. I like that. 60 bones. Uh, brushed aluminum, dark. Oh, these are the wood veneer trims. I want the carbon fiber. Where was that? Oh, red accent carbon fiber? No. Uh, brushed aluminum? I didn't know that the carbon fiber was going to have red in it, but let's see what that looks like really fast. Authentic carbon fiber precisely crafted in expressive Murillo red accents. You know what? With my black interior, that's actually not going to look bad at all. Yeah, let's do that. That's going to look good, I think. I think that's going to look okay. I think it's going to look okay. Let's enlarge the photo and see. We can't really see it. Right on the door trim. Let's just say it's going to look, let's just assume it's going to look the best ever. Okay, let's just assume that. Okay, so we got that. And the rest of this is just little, I don't know, stuff that we don't need. I don't need a highway safety kit nor the first aid kit. So let's move on to accessories. And we're going to really just breeze through accessories because if you watched any of my videos, you know that General Motors, they throw these accessories on everything. Let me show you what I mean. So, like these accessories, license plate frames and stuff. None of this stuff is specific to the Cadillac ATS, all right? It's just these things they throw in, or headphones and, and jumper cables and stuff, miscellaneous things. It's, it's nothing that you need that we need to worry about on this building price review. On top of that, it's all stuff that you can go buy at the parts counter at the dealer, all right? So that said, let's go over to the summer. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. This is a fully loaded Cadillac. I got everything I wanted. It's $60,000. I mean, I got everything I wanted. It's sixty thousand dollars. I'm impressed. I like it a lot. That just that really bumped it up for me. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and print this off. We're at the end. If you made it to the end, you know what I say. You're awesome. Thank you for watching it. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna print this off and I'm gonna put the build summary in the description below. And also, like I said, I'm gonna do a review. I'm gonna do a written review on this car. I'll have that up shortly after I do the video, and then I'll put a link to that article in the description below. If you want to get back to that article. Then, get, then make sure you subscribe so that way you can get back to my channel real easy. All right. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you for joining me. I really like the Cadillac. I really like this ATS Coupe. If you like this ATS Coupe, why don't you leave a comment? I'd like to hear from you.